Abraham Lincoln campaigned for president on the back of a horse. FDR, he used the new medium of radio at the time to reach voters. Ronald Reagan, he was known as the great communicator for his masterful use of TV. And now, thanks to the internet, new media, it is the new wave, and one Hudson Valley race is taken to it like ants to a picnic. Tonight, RNN's Karen DePodwin takes a closer look. Music, movies, shopping, travel, and jobs. Name it and it's right there on the internet. Is it any wonder politicians are jumping on too? Campaigns are now using the internet for email, blogs, and the latest rage, YouTube. A site where video of almost anyone doing almost anything can be posted in a matter of minutes. Politicians are noticing that. I don't know that we'll find out next Tuesday whether the blogs and all the new technology have changed uh, uh, this race. New media is not only affecting campaigns and you the voter, but newsrooms across the country and you the viewer. Journalism is growing and adapting, and those who have been in the business for years are waking up to a new format. RNN's news director Don Dudley has been in the news business for more than 20 years. This election season, he has seen a new way for politicians to communicate with supporters as well as bash the competition. 20 years ago, there were a couple of television stations in every market and a couple of hours of news a day. Now with hundreds of cable stations, with blogs, with YouTube, MySpace, and all the others, uh, many politicians have learned that there's political coverage 24 hours a day. And some of you learned to use it, while others have been embarrassed by it. Take the race between six-term Republican incumbent Sue Kelly and her Democratic challenger, John Hall. In many ways, it has been digitized. In a Journal News column this week, Noreen O'Donnell writes, quote, Sue Kelly can enjoy watching herself on YouTube these days. And O'Donnell may be right. Unflattering videos of the Congresswoman running from our cameras are among the many posted there. They are linked to dozens, perhaps hundreds, could be even thousands of blogs. It gives voters a new platform to discuss the candidates. Kelly's opponent, John Hall, sees the positive effect new media is having on his campaign, but he also sees that the basics haven't changed. But it's still a lot of its old-fashioned politics. It's get out the vote, it's, it's mail, it's going door to door. And I don't think we, we leave any stone unturned. It's not clear yet whether the new media has given John Hall a boost or damaged Congresswoman Kelly. Voters may provide that answer on Election Day. For Real Politics Live, I'm Karen DePodwin.